Shut up. Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. And in this video, we're announcing the winner of our uh, Epicurean Titanium Stove. We're giving away two stoves. In this contest, we ask people to submit their entries for the top 10 reasons for dry baking. So one stove will be won by the person who selects what we consider the best answer for dry baking. The second winner will be taken from all the entries we gather. We'll take a random selection and pick that winner. So you have two chances to win. So one of the reasons we're making this video or one of the reasons we're sponsoring this contest is really to get exposure about dry baking. In the last uh, one or two years, dry baking has really uh, evolved a lot more than where it used to be. And there's been some paradigm shifts and some game changers. And we've got some uh, dry baking systems now that are lightweight, they're easy to use, and there's really no reason not to try dry baking. So before I announce the winner of this contest, um, I, brought, I asked some celebrity uh, guests of mine to make some comments about it. And the, uh, these are some well-known people in the backpacking ultralight community, and I wanted them to chime in on their thoughts on dry baking. So the first group we're going to talk about is I have four bloggers that have sent me video responses. And these guys have been backpacking in the ultralight field and looking at stoves for a number of years and they're well respected. So let's see what these bloggers say about dry baking. Hey, I'm Hendrik. I think that dry baking is awesome because it is wonderful to make your backpacking partner smile when you present them with a muffin or pizza after a long day of hiking. I will go hiking with my daddy, peel dry bake and make us muffins. I like to dry bake while backpacking because nothing says comfort food to me quite like a hot muffin or freshly baked biscuits for breakfast. It's also a great way to make my fellow backpackers jealous of the smell of what I'm baking. Hey, hi, Hike and Jim here from Adventures in Stoving, and one of the top 10 reasons for baking out on the trail is that little hikers love muffins. You want muffin, honey? Can you say muffin? Good choice. At Flat Cat Gear, we actually have two systems for dry baking. One is our Epicurean Titanium stove, uh, which uses Esbit, which is a solid fuel, and we also offer the Bacon Simmer Ring. Now, one thing to, to keep in mind is that dry baking is, it is, not, is a technique. It's not hardware related. It is not specific to a certain uh, way of doing things. An example is there are other people that do uh, dry baking systems. In fact, the next two stove makers are going to give you their opinions about, uh, about dry baking. Uh, these two gentlemen uh, have a wealth of experience. They're big names in uh, alcohol stove manufacturing and uh, I can honestly say these guys are chock full of uh, personality. So let's see what they say about dry baking. Hi, I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design, and this is my video response to John's question about what I like about dry baking. The number one thing I like about dry baking is that everything comes out golden brown. Now, half the fun of dry baking is just baking the stuff. Uh, it's a really fun process and very simple. The second half is getting to eat it when it's done. Bye-bye. Hey guys, Smoke Eater 908 here again. Just want to thank John for letting me uh, be part of his video here. So the question was proposed to me. What, why do I like dry baking? Well, do you want to wake up out of your hammock and get up one morning and just boil you some water and eat you a bowl of oatmeal? Mm, not me. Or had you rather get up one morning and dry bake a cinnamon biscuit with some put some icing on it. That's what I'd rather do. Guys, get out of the woods and enjoy yourself.
Stay sharp and be safe. So as I said earlier, dry baking is a technique. It's not, you know, you don't have to have a particular set of hardware to dry bake. In fact, uh, some of the best dry baking can be done by people that do it yourselfers. Uh, so I've got one of the best uh, DIYer guyers out there and I want you to see what he says about dry baking. Hi John, when I'm out hiking or camping I don't always make muffins. But when I do, I prefer to make dry baked muffins. It uses pretty much the same equipment as boiled or steamed muffins, but there's nothing to compare to a nice baked muffin out on the trail, a nice warm muffin, and a mug of your favorite hot beverage. Even makes weather like this a joy to go camping in. Okay, so on to the contest. Let's count down the top 10 reasons for dry baking. Number 10, there's nothing like loving when it comes from the oven. Number nine, I want to make my friends jealous. I will have good food while they have watered down slop. Number eight, all chicks dig it. Number seven is a video response. The reason I want to dry bake while backpacking is because it just brings a little bit of comfort to the outdoors. Especially if you're on the trail with your significant other, it just adds a little bit of a wholesome quality and adds a bit of warmth to your journey and most importantly it's going to bring a smile to her face and if she's happy he's going to make you happy number six i want to make meals efficient and easy by not having to constantly stir food in the pot or over a hot stove or fire most importantly I can enjoy setting up camp and wander around taking pictures and enjoy the atmosphere around me. I think baking will be a good way to free up some of that time to, time to do that, which is to get more enjoyment out of my time outdoors. Number five, I'm French and I need to have baked goods while backpacking. Number four, it would get my wife interested in outdoor cooking. Number three, I can't plan a backpacking trip. My friends do it all for me. I'm not smart enough, but I can dry bake and they can't. So I can feed them if they keep planning trips for me. Number two, I can only take so much ramen. And the number one answer is I love to show others. There's absolutely no reason why baking needs to be restricted to the kitchen. Anything we're used to enjoying indoors can be enjoyed outdoors if we learn how to think and act outside the box. And the number one guess was submitted by I Choose the Red Pill. For the second Epicurean stove, all the submissions were put in, all the names of the submissions were put in this pot and we're going to randomly select one and that person will win the second stove. And that person is Arlen Court 55. So send me your email, send me your address and I'll mail that out to you. Now, we want everyone to get involved in baking. So uh, we made a uh, modification to our contest. Everyone who's entered the contest uh, between now and December 25th if they order an Epicurean stove, we'll get 25% off that stove. So that way, everybody who enters is a winner. <laughs>